Ever wondered if the world around you is really as you see it? Imagine for a moment that the reality you experience every day may be nothing more than a vast and complex illusion orchestrated by your own mind. In this video, we will embark on a journey through the hidden depths of human perception, challenging everything you thought you knew about reality. Get ready to question your own thoughts, beliefs, and everything you consider unquestionable. Are you ready? First perception, the illusion of the mind. In a world where reality and perception often intertwine in unexpected ways, the human mind emerges as a fascinating stage for the spectacle of life. This intimate theater, where every thought, feeling, and perception plays its part, is simultaneously our greatest treasure and our most deceptive mirage. The mind, this enigmatic maestro, weaves the tapestry of our experience with threads so subtle that we often mistake the web for reality. This illusion, as old as consciousness itself, reveals both our grandeur and our vulnerability. But what does it really mean to live under the veil of mental illusion? Imagine for a moment that your thoughts, beliefs and perceptions are like waves in a vast ocean. Some waves are gentle and calm, while others are stormy and turbulent. However, all are fleeting forms that arise from the same water. This metaphor illustrates the fluidity of our internal reality, showing how our minds shape and are shaped by the sea of experience. But there's more to the story. Beneath the surface of this ocean lie deep currents, subconscious influences that steer the course of our lives in ways we can scarcely imagine. These currents, fueled by past experiences, fears and desires, can lead us to perceive the world in ways that confirm our beliefs and expectations, creating a feedback loop that reinforces our constructed reality. This phenomenon, known as confirmation bias, is just one example of how our minds, though incredibly powerful, can also keep us prisoners of distorted perceptions. However, by recognizing the existence of these hidden currents, we have the opportunity to delve deeper into our own being, questioning and eventually transcending the limits of mental illusion. It is an invitation to a journey of self-discovery and liberation, where the key to unraveling the mysteries of our own mind lies in carefully observing our thoughts and feelings without rigidly clinging to them. Now imagine that you are an experienced navigator in this ocean of the mind. You learn to identify the underlying currents and, with practice and patience, begin to sail with more skill, choosing courses that lead you to calmer waters and clearer views. This metaphor not only illustrates the capacity for change and personal growth, but also highlights the importance of mindfulness and self-observation as tools for navigating the complexity of human experience. By embracing uncertainty and recognizing the illusory nature of our perception, we open space for curiosity, learning and adaptation. This process is not only about unraveling the illusions of the mind, but also about recognizing the beauty and richness of the human experience in its entirety. In doing so, we not only explore the depth of our being, but also connect more meaningfully with the world around us. Therefore, the illusion of the mind, though challenging, offers a unique opportunity, the chance to rediscover our true essence and redefine our relationship with reality. By accepting the invitation to this introspective journey, we equip ourselves with the ability to live more fully and authentically, finding peace and purpose in accepting life as it is, in all its complexity and beauty. Second, your mind creates blockages based on your concepts of reality. This statement introduces us to an intriguing aspect of human nature, our ability to build mental barriers based on our perceptions of reality, these blockages are like invisible walls that surround us, limiting our potential and our vision of what is possible. They stem from our beliefs, past experiences, and even the fears we harbor, shaping an internal labyrinth 
that often hinders our journey towards growth and personal fulfillment. Consider for a moment how these concepts of reality are formed. From a tender age, we are shaped by a continuous flow of information, opinions and experiences emanating from both our social and familial environment. These elements intertwine, forming the foundation of our understanding of the world and ourselves. However, the challenge arises when these conceptions solidify into unquestionable truths creating a filter through which we interpret each new experience. Imagine these blockages as veils that cloud our perception, causing us to see the world not as it is, but as we believe it to be. This distortion can lead us to underestimate our abilities, to avoid new experiences, or even to reject opportunities that contradict our deeply rooted beliefs, Thus, the fear of the unknown or of failure becomes a silent jailer, confining us to a comfort zone that is both a refuge and a prison. However, there is a light at the end of this introspective tunnel. The first step to demolishing these invisible walls is to recognize their existence. This requires a dose of courage and a sincere willingness to know ourselves more deeply. Questioning our deepest beliefs and being open to new perspectives may be uncomfortable, but it is in this process of questioning that the key to liberation lies. By challenging preconceived notions and exploring new ideas, we begin to realize that many of the barriers that limit us are of our own making. The practice of self-reflection and meditation can be particularly helpful in this process, they allow us to observe our thoughts and beliefs from a position of witness, reducing the power that these mental constructions have over us. With time and practice, we begin to distinguish between what is a reflection of reality and what is a distortion created by our mental blockages. Another crucial aspect of overcoming these blockages is gradual and controlled exposure to new experiences. This approach similar to systematic desensitization used in behavioral therapies, allows us to confront our fears and expand our comfort zone safely and progressively. Each small success in this process reinforces the idea that we are capable of more than our fears and limiting beliefs lead us to believe. Furthermore, the pursuit of knowledge and continuous learning plays a vital role. By educating ourselves about the world and ourselves, we dilute the ignorances that feed our blockages. This not only expands our understanding and empathy, but also empowers us to see beyond the walls we have built around our minds. Finally, it is important to remember that breaking down these mental blockages is a continuous process that requires patience and persistence. Each step in this journey is an act of courage that brings us closer to true freedom. The freedom to live a life without self-imposed limits. Thus, by facing these challenges head-on, we not only transcend the obstacles we have created ourselves, but also open ourselves to a world of endless possibilities where the only limit is the one we choose to accept. Third, internal dialogue. In the depths of the human mind lies a tireless narrator, a narrator who weaves stories without pause, judging, predicting, and often deceiving. This is the internal dialogue that shapes our perception of reality, a filter through which we interpret every moment of our existence. But what happens when we begin to question the truthfulness of these internal narratives? The Stoics teach us that the first step to freedom is to recognize that this internal dialogue is, at its core, controllable. Epictetus, one of the pillars of Stoicism, proclaims that it is not the events themselves that disturb us, but the opinions we have about those events. Thus, he highlights the importance of examining and challenging the stories we tell ourselves. For many, the journey begins with the realization that much of our suffering is self-inflicted, not by external circumstances, 
but by the way we interpret them. If we accept that our internal dialogue has the power to color our experiences with shades of anguish or contentment, then we must also accept that we have the ability to change those colors. Practicing mindfulness is one method to achieve this change. By becoming observers of our own thoughts, we begin to identify patterns, recognize distortions, and question the validity of our automatic assumptions. This exercise in introspection is not an act of judgment, but of curiosity, a search for truth behind the curtains of prejudice and habit. However, this journey towards self-awareness demands more than mere observation. It requires the courage to confront uncomfortable truths. As we peel back the layers of our internal dialogue, we may encounter deeply ingrained fears and insecurities that have shaped our reactions and behaviors throughout life. Here, the stoic practice of exercising will become indispensable. As Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor, advises us, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, cultivating thoughts aligned with virtues such as courage, justice, moderation and wisdom is essential to transforming our internal dialogue from an enemy into an ally. Transforming this dialogue does not mean suppressing negative thoughts or emotions, but rather learning to embrace them with understanding and then choosing to respond in alignment with our deepest values. It is a process of constant vigilance and practice where we gradually learn to distance ourselves from our automatic reactions and respond with intention. Imagine yourself on a typical day, about to face an important presentation at work. Your heart is racing, your mind overflowing with thoughts. What if I fail? What if I forget what to say? These questions are a reflection of your internal dialogue. The voice narrating every step, every doubt, every fear. Let's apply a practical exercise inspired by the wisdom of the Stoics to transform this internal narrative. First, take a deep breath and observe your thoughts as if they were clouds passing in the sky of your mind. Acknowledge them, but do not cling to them. Remember, you are the sky, thoughts the passing clouds. Now question these thoughts. Is this worry a faithful reflection of reality? What can I control in this situation? Redirect your attention to what is within your reach, your preparation, your breath, your ability to communicate clearly. Remember Epictetus' teaching. It is not the events themselves that disturb us, but the opinions we have about them. Transform the internal dialogue. Instead of what if I fail, think I am prepared and will do my best. I can learn from any outcome. This shift in perspective is powerful. You do not suppress fear, but embrace it as part of the human experience, choosing to respond with courage and presence. Finally, visualize yourself successfully completing the presentation. Feel the satisfaction not only from the outcome, but from the process of facing your fears with dignity and self-control. This is the true exercise of will, not the conquest of external obstacles, but the internal transformation that allows us to face each challenge with balance and wisdom. Practicing this exercise daily in varied situations strengthens your ability to shape a more positive and constructive internal dialogue. Over time, this practice becomes a habit, paving the way for a more serene life aligned with your deepest values. Each obstacle becomes an opportunity for growth, and each moment an invitation to live authentically and fully. True freedom, according to the Stoics, lies in the ability to not be enslaved by our automatic thoughts and emotions. This is achieved not through force or denial, but through understanding and self-love. By practicing the art of questioning and reshaping our internal dialogue, we open the door to a more peaceful and centered existence where each obstacle becomes an opportunity to practice virtue and each moment 
an invitation to live according to our most authentic nature. Fourth, have you ever heard the phrase, the doors are not always locked, you just need to open them? This sentence leads us to a profound reflection on perceived barriers versus real ones in our lives. Often we believe ourselves to be facing insurmountable obstacles, when in reality, the only hindrance is our reluctance to act. This idea reveals the importance of personal initiative and self-confidence in overcoming challenges. Think about how many times we encounter situations that seem closed to us, whether in relationships, career opportunities, or even personal growth. The perception of a locked door can be so powerful that we give up trying to open it without even testing the doorknob. This phenomenon, rooted in the fear of failure or insecurity, can keep us trapped in a limited reality, depriving us of exploring the full potential of our lives. However, by adopting a more proactive stance and by questioning the assumptions we make about the limitations we face, we begin to see the possibilities that exist beyond these seemingly locked doors. The act of standing up and trying to open the door is a powerful symbol of autonomy and determination. Even if the door is indeed locked, the effort to search for the key or another door represents an important step in the journey of self-awareness and personal growth. Moreover, it is crucial to recognize that sometimes the doors that open do not lead to the destinations we expected. But this does not mean that the journey or the destination are any less valuable. Each experience, each attempt, teaches us something new about ourselves and the world around us. These lessons are the true treasures we collect along our journey, allowing us to build a richer and fuller life. In this process of unlocking doors and exploring new paths, it is vital to cultivate resilience and adaptability. Life in its essence is unpredictable and full of twists and turns. Facing the unknown with an open and flexible mindset better prepares us to deal with the surprises and challenges that inevitably arise. Resilience allows us to bounce back from setbacks and keep moving forward, while adaptability empowers us to adjust our sails to the changing winds. Furthermore, the support of friends, family and mentors can be invaluable on this journey. They may offer the key we lack, the strength to try again, or a different perspective that illuminates a previously hidden path. Being open to receiving help and guidance is, in itself, a way of unlocking internal doors, allowing light to enter and illuminate our steps. The journey towards self-realization and fulfilling our potential is largely an exploration of which doors we choose to open and which paths we decide to follow. Not all doors will lead to bright places, and some may require us to face our deepest fears. However, it is this willingness to confront the unknown, to reach out and turn the doorknob, that defines the true spirit of adventure and growth. Therefore, when faced with closed doors in our lives, let us remember that they are not always locked. Sometimes, all we need is the courage to reach out and open them, each open door is a step towards the unknown, an invitation to expand our being and discover new dimensions of our existence. The key often lies in our hands, we just need the courage to use it. Another important point is not comparing yourself. In our daily journey, it's common to face the temptation of measuring ourselves by others' achievements. However, I want to invite you to a profound and transformative reflection Abandon the practice of comparing yourself to others. Each human being walks a unique path filled with their own battles, joys and learnings. When we look sideways, trying to measure our worth or progress by what we see in others, we not only do ourselves a disservice, but also overlook the richness of our own journey. Imagine life as a vast ocean, and each of us is in our own boat, navigating waters that are sometimes calm and at other times stormy. Comparing your boat to someone else's will not calm the storms or make your sun shine brighter. 
Instead, focus on improving your navigation skills, on appreciating the unfolding landscape ahead of you, and on celebrating every nautical mile conquered. Be aware that your experience is incomparable, as it is woven with the threads of your dreams, challenges, and triumphs. Embracing your uniqueness does not mean closing your eyes to the world around you, but rather recognizing that the true measure of success is how faithful you are to your essence and your life's purpose. Throughout this narrative, I want you to feel the freedom to explore your own internal universe, discovering new facets of yourself. Allow yourself to be inspired by others' stories, without allowing them to dictate the value of your own journey. Remember that each story has its own color, rhythm, and melody, just as in music, where different instruments and harmonies create a unique symphony. Your life is an original composition that only you can perform. By embracing this mindset, you begin to see beauty in the small things and to cherish the simple moments. This does not mean ignoring others' achievements or isolating yourself from the external world. On the contrary, it means appreciating those stories as sources of inspiration without letting them become comparison standards that undermine your self-esteem and well-being. This is where the art of being grateful plays a crucial role. Practicing gratitude daily helps us recognize the value of what we already have, of the people who are part of our lives, and of the progress we have made, regardless of the pace. Gratitude centers us in the present and expands our capacity for appreciation, distancing us from the trap of comparisons. At this point in the journey, I invite you to reflect on your personal achievements without the shadows of others' accomplishments. Every step you take is worthy of celebration. Every lesson learned is a treasure that enriches your soul. When you begin to view life through this lens, you realize that the true competition is with yourself, striving for a better and more fulfilled version of yourself with each new day. Therefore, I encourage you to break free from the shackles of comparisons and to live your life authentically. Be kind to yourself in the process of growth and transformation. Appreciate your journey with all its nuances, for therein lies the true magic of existence. By doing so, you will not only find peace and satisfaction, but also inspire others to do the same, fostering a virtuous cycle of positivity and fulfillment. Sixth, focus on your qualities. Observe what you do best. Take a moment for deep reflection on your virtues, those characteristics that shine brightly within you. Reflect on your unique abilities, those capabilities you perform with unmatched mastery. Imagine yourself in your daily life, carrying out activities in which you not only excel, but also feel fully engaged and alive. It is in these occasions that your true essence shines most intensely revealing the full spectrum of your potential. Consider, for example, those moments when effortlessly you solve complex problems or when your creativity flows freely, bringing to life ideas that once only inhabited the realm of imagination. These qualities, these moments of pure skill and passion, are the keys that unlock doors to even greater achievements. When reflecting on your qualities, it is important to approach them not as static characteristics, but as vibrant sources of potential that are constantly evolving. Each qualification you possess is an invitation to explore, expand and elevate yourself to new levels of personal and professional development. Imagine yourself as a dedicated artisan, constantly refining your craft, always seeking new techniques and perspectives that can further enrich your work. In this journey of self-discovery and growth, I encourage you to embrace your qualities with pride and confidence, but also with the humility of knowing that there is always room to learn and evolve. Allow yourself to be curious about yourself, exploring the depths of your being with the same passion and dedication you would apply to learning a new craft or discovering a new path on a journey. By sharing this reflection, 
My goal is for you to feel inspired to dive even deeper into your journey of self-discovery, recognizing and valuing your qualities not only as individual attributes, but as components of a much broader mosaic that makes up who you are. May this internal journey lead you to even more rewarding discoveries, unlocking levels of fulfillment and satisfaction that, until then, seemed only within reach of dreams. Seventh, your mind is your best ally. Work on the positive things, clear your mind and start believing. Consider for a moment the extraordinary ability of your mind. It is undoubtedly your most loyal ally on the path to self-improvement and achieving your dreams. Imagine this inner strength as a fertile garden where every positive thought planted can blossom into magnificent realities. It is crucial, therefore, to cultivate this mental space with care and intention, choosing to sow only the seeds that will bring beauty and prosperity to your life. Clearing your mind is like preparing the soil of this garden. It is a process of removing the weeds of doubts, fears, and insecurities that can suffocate your dreams before they even have a chance to sprout. Imagine dedicating time each day to this mental cleansing, perhaps at dawn or dusk, moments when the world around you seems to pause and offer the tranquility necessary for this task. Visualize yourself purging all negativity, leaving behind the shadows of the past and the uncertainties of the future so that only the clarity of the present remains. Now, with the soil of your mind prepared, it's time to truly start believing in your unlimited potential. Believing in yourself is like watering this garden every day, nurturing your hopes and dreams with the conviction that they are attainable. This act of faith in your own abilities can illuminate paths once hidden by the fog of doubt, revealing unexpected routes to success and happiness. As you practice this unwavering belief in yourself, you may find that your mind begins to operate at a higher frequency, attracting opportunities, inspirations, and serendipitous encounters that are aligned with your deepest desires. It's the law of attraction in action, a principle that suggests that by focusing on positive thoughts, we are capable of generating positive results in our lives. Remember to celebrate every small victory along the way, acknowledging progress and allowing these successes to further strengthen your belief in yourself. Over time, you will realize that your mind is not only your best ally, but also the fertile soil where everything you dream of can grow and flourish. This practical example is a tangible way to apply the principles of working on the positive things clearing your mind and starting to believe in your immense potential. As we conclude our exploration of the illusions of the mind, it is crucial to remember that this is just the beginning of a much deeper journey. The boundaries between perception and reality are only the first veil to be lifted. As we continue to unravel the layers of our consciousness, each discovery brings us closer not only to understanding the universe around us, but also to the essence of what we truly are. So, I ask you, how willing are you to dive even deeper and confront the hidden truths within yourself? In our next videos, we promise to take you to uncharted dimensions of the human mind, where each revelation has the power to completely transform the way we live and perceive reality. Subscribe to our channel and join us on this ongoing journey of discovery and transformation. The true adventure is yet to come. Don't forget to leave a like and activate notifications so you don't miss any steps of this fascinating exploration. Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, and above all, keep believing in the unlimited power of your mind. See you soon.